Hey everyone, it's Mr. Cohen, School Counseling Director. This is a quick video to talk to you about SOL testing that is going to be occurring um, at the end of May and early part of June. So first of all, who's testing? If you are currently in an Algebra 1 Part B class, English 11, World History 1, or Biology this semester, pretty much all of you are going to be taking the SOL test. Some of you that are in Geometry, Algebra 2, World History 2, U.S. History, Earth Science, or Chemistry, you may also be taking the test. Your teachers will let you know if you're taking the test or not. Um, and then some students who maybe just moved to Virginia or came from a private school or maybe missed an SOL test, you will be doing some retesting as well in May. Here is a copy of the testing schedule. Your teacher will go over this information a little bit more in depth. What you really need to know is we are doing SOL retesting on May 23rd and 25th. The counselors are letting those students know who they are and we're sending letters home in the next um, week or so. And then on May 26th, we're doing the English SOL test. On May 27th, history. June 2nd, science. June 3rd is math. We also have some remediation boot camps um, the day before SOL testing, and of course, we'll have some makeup days as well. On May 26th, 27th, June 2nd, and June 3rd, we're doing exactly what we did back in January. These are going to be asynchronous days that the only students who come to school are those who are SOL testing or those going to the remediation boot camp. When you are done with testing on those days, you can either have a ride ready to pick you up and you would just check out um, with the attendance office after your SOL test, or if you have a ride coming but you need to wait somewhere, you can go to the auditorium. When your ride gets here, you'll be able to check out in the um, uh, attendance office, or if you don't have a ride at all and you're just going to stay with us all day, which is perfectly fine, you will also go to the auditorium. And then just like we did in January, we're going to have um, live instruction going on starting at one o'clock on those days. Where you're going to be testing, your teachers will let you know where you should report for SOL testing. CVA students will be testing in the cafeteria unless Ms. Estes, our SOL clerk, tells you differently. On May 23rd and 25th, these are the retesting days. Everyone should report to first block and then we'll call you down to testing at around 9:10. Everyone needs to bring their fully charged Chromebook. Um, you'll be given some instructions on how to do a quick update to your Chromebook. If you've already done this update once this year, you don't have to do it again. If you're gonna need a Chromebook for testing, please email me at scott.cohen at cpschools.com. On May 26, 27, June 2nd, and June 3rd, these are the massive testing days, and these are the asynchronous days. Only students taking an SOL test or going to remediation boot camp should come to school, and on these days, you should report directly to your testing room by 9 a.m. Don't go to first block. Again, please make sure you bring your fully charged Chromebook, and if you need a Chromebook, um, if you don't have one, please let your teacher know, or you can email me. If you're in an SOL class and you're going to be taking the SOL test, we do encourage you to come to the remediation boot camp that will be held the day before. Chromebooks. Okay, so we've learned a little bit about Chromebooks. Number one, we need everybody to bring your fully charged Chromebook. Please don't bring your Chromebook that you forgot to charge. Please don't forget your Chromebook. We kind of come close to running out of Chromebooks. So if you show up and you don't have your Chromebook or it's not fully charged, and we run out of Chromebooks, we may not be able to test you that day. Please also make sure that when you are testing, before you go into the testing room, please remove all papers from your Chromebook. We know that some of you are using your Chromebook as a folder, but you can't have any papers or any junk or any stuff in your Chromebook when you're SOL testing, so please make sure you clean that out. Also, silly that I have to say this, but you can't charge your cell phone on your Chromebook while you're testing. And yes, that actually happened during testing last cycle. So please don't do those things. And please make sure you bring your fully charged Chromebook to school. Don't think that you're gonna be able to bring your cord and plug it in somewhere, because that's not always possible. On testing days, just remember you can't have cell phones on your body, you can't have smartwatches on, you can't have earbuds on, and all of these things must be completely turned off. Remember, when you open your Chromebook, do not log in as yourself. Just open it and you'll look at the bottom for the apps button. Click on that and then you'll click on test nav. Um, and if it says what state do you live in, just click Virginia. Just some basic reminders for testing. You can't talk during testing. You shouldn't be sleeping. If you don't feel well, please stay home. There will, of course, be makeup days. 
Um, if you show up for testing and then right before testing starts, you don't feel good or you remember you have a dentist appointment, please do not start the test. That's the worst thing you can do. That's what makeup days are for. And please make sure you do not submit your tests until you're done. And speaking of submitting your test, for those of you that maybe haven't taken a SOL test with us, just remember when you're done with your SOL test, we ask that you raise your hand. Don't submit without a faculty member coming over. When the faculty member comes over to you, they'll walk you through submitting it. You'll submit on your own. And then when you're done, you will collect your belongings, leave the test room quietly. And then of course on asynchronous days, you'll either report directly to the attendance office to leave, you'll go to the auditorium to wait, um, or you'll go to the auditorium to wait for the rest of the day. Um, and if it's a retesting day or a makeup day, you'll just go right back to class. If you are caught cheating, even attempting to cheat, you will not be allowed to continue testing. Um, and if your phone goes, goes off during testing, we kind of have to check out, out and see what's going on. Um, you may or may not be able to continue. And please remember that all testing has to end at 345. You cannot extend your test until the next day and you can't extend your test past 345. On testing days, you cannot wear the hoodie part of your hood on your head or your hat on your head during testing. You should not bring any study materials with you. And of course, no food or drink on the testing table. And I'm saying this, but I know what's gonna happen. A lot of people have food and drink on the testing table. I'm gonna need you to remove all of that from the testing table once we start testing. That includes bottles of water. Just a reminder that calculators and SOL testing for the math SOL test, we do not give out any handheld calculators. Everyone should use the Desmos calculator that's in TestNav. The same thing for science SOL testing. There's a calculator available in TestNav for your science test, and everyone should use that calculator in TestNav for your test. If you have any questions about calculators, please make sure you talk to your math or science teacher prior to testing. All right, that's it. Thank you very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you on SOL testing days.